Hey guys, Shane here from Fugitive 3D Printing. Today we're going to check out the April Maker Box. So welcome back guys. So as normal, we're going to go ahead and do my monthly Maker Box unboxing, print with these filaments and see how they turn out and kind of give a little review on each one of them to see how they perform. All right, well we've actually got some stickers and stuff which have not had these in a long, long time. All right, so first up we've got this little card here and it's got a bunch of the protopasta stuff here on the front and it's protoplant, makers of protopasta, made by makers, talks about their exotic filament, says your lucky day, try something new, use the code blah for $7 at protopasta.com. Mm, very interesting, give you ways to follow them, uh, about the photo, little things about that, so that's a cool little deal. All right, a new sticker, toner plastics. Ooh, some of the Harbio gummy bears, long time since we've had some candy in there. Oh, we've got two maker box stickers, which is fantastic, I love stickers. I print with glitter, protopasta.com sticker, and two printed solid.com stickers. Man, they went overboard on stickers this month. Now let's get to the good stuff, the filament. All right, and up first we have silk from Beaver 3D. I just finished filming the red silk filament that I received from Beaver 3D. There was silk filament in the August of 2016 box, which was green, it turned out amazing. This yellow is actually like canary yellow. This is an amazing yellow, I hope you can see that. This is gonna be awesome to print with. So I already know a lot about this, but let's go over it if you're new to this. So the print settings, hot end temperature, 200 to 220, I print this at 210. Bed temperature, zero to 40, I print it just like PLA at 60. Speed, 20 to 50 millimeters a second. Slow it down just a little bit uh, in order to get in there. The info, a hybrid of bipolar materials to give a silk-like appearance. It looks like silk. I tell you one thing, it feels like silk. It is, this is a great filament. I really like this stuff. So this will be really fun to print with. Ooh, another exotics. We've got Buzzed from 3D Fuel. All right, so the specs on this one, hot end temperature, 180 to 210, bed temperature, zero to 50, speed, 40 to 75, normal you know, PLA speeds, normal PLA temps. The info, a PLA filled with byproduct from the beer making process. I wonder if this is gonna give off a smell. I'm not really sure. It doesn't have any type of smell now. Not at all, actually. Some filaments have their own little odor to them, depending on what they are. This one does nothing. So this will be super awesome. And it has like flakes in it, you know, it looks like specks. So I wonder if this is gonna give like a really cool looking texture uh, to the, not texture, but a real cool looking surface on the print. That'll be really fun to print with. Not bad. One of my favorite filaments is this glitter flake from Protopasta. This stuff prints absolutely amazingly. It's great. I think this has to be like a roundup of, of the filaments. I'll have to hit up Nick and ask him about it, but this, you know, we've seen the silk before. Buzz might have come around before I started. I started almost the beginning, but like I was like three months behind, so I didn't get those first ones. That might be it. Glitter Flake, we saw this one in, oh, I think the November or December box. I'll link it here so you can see it. Uh, but we're still gonna print with it again, just because it's here and that's what we need to do. So, uh, Glitter Flake, uh, print settings, hot end temperature, 190 to 230 C, bed temperature, zero to 70, Speed 30 to 90 millimeters a second. The info, a special seasonal blend of protopasta's HTPLA with glitter flakes. I mean, again, for Christmas ornaments and stuff like that, this is the filament you want. I really hope they come out with some other colors because it's just gonna be too awesome. All right, so we have PLA from MakerBox. This is their own white PLA, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at it. Oh, yep, the info, we'll do our info first on this one. We are proud to announce our own line of PLA to get you quality PLA at a low cost. This is gonna be clutch, especially if they're talking about low cost. I'm all about finding the low cost PLA that prints the best. And I've had some good ones, I've had some bad ones. So I'm really have high hopes for this because the guys are MakerBox, they go through a lot of different filaments, they get to try a lot for different kind. I hope they figure this out. So the settings on this one, standard all around it looks like. Hot end temperature, 190 to 220. Bed temperature, zero to 60. Speed, 30 to 70 millimeters a second, and the info we talked about. And as usual, all of these have a coupon code on them, so when you subscribe, if you wanna buy some of this filament, you use the code, and you can buy some of the filament straight off the MakerBox.me website. 
All right, well, that's a good roundup. I think we've got some great stickers here. We have this. Now for the spool. I don't have one ready as of this filming right now, so I'm gonna hit Thingiverse, see if I can find a new spool because I actually broke the one that I normally use in last month's, so I'm not too happy about that, but that's okay. I will find a new one to print with or I'll fix that one. But either way, I told you guys I like to find a new spool every month. As long as I can keep doing this, we're in what, six, seven spools roughly now? I've gone through a lot of different ones. So we'll see what I can find. We'll talk about it after I do the prints and we'll go forth. So let's get the time lapses going. All right, welcome back. So before we go ahead and look at the filaments, we're gonna go ahead and look at the spool holder that I printed out, which I really was not happy with. It's a interesting design, but there were an, one small issue with it, and it also just was not the best on my printer because I actually got snagged a few times. So let's uh, dig into this, and we'll go into the prints. Okay, so here's the spool holder, and you can see it's here in pieces. It comes apart like this. So it prints in those four pieces. Now the biggest issue I had with this was this was the original hub, we'll call it. And then here is the new hub here on this side. It's really hard to tell, but this one is one and a half millimeters thicker than this one because the original, these are supposed to fit snugly on there. Tons of play. And if you look, it's really hard to see in this angle, but there's roughly one point some change millimeter space in there. So in order to combat that, I just went ahead, reprinted the hub at 1.5 millimeters and everything slid on there really nice. So it gets on there nice and tight. And you just, so there also is support in here, which is not great, but it's okay. You can pull it out if your support setting's okay. Mine was all right to get out. Took a couple minutes. Okay, you squeeze all those on there. Okay, and then there's your three. You can print out more if you want, but I just did three is what it called for. So the problem was, is when this was sitting on the spool, it would rock like crazy, like this have a spool holder here to show you. So it would just go back and forth like crazy depending on which way it was being pulled. And that was not really great because once it turned so much, it actually got stuck on the loon extrusion of the FT5. So maybe if you had this straight mounted above an I3, it might work okay. But it did not work on a side spool holder on the side of the printer. So it's a very cool design but I do not recommend it for at least the MakerBox spools. Maybe if you had a much larger spool that would fill this up, it might act a little bit better. But again, with the large spools and a side mount spool holder, it definitely was not a good fit. I will probably try this one more time on a top mount on my i3 once that gets working. So I will hold on to this for now. Okay, filament. So here we have the Glitter Flake from Protopasta. This was the same filament that came out of the December 2016 box, and it is here in the April 2017 box. So this is actually the exact print that came from my December box. I didn't feel like reprinting the exact same model simply because I want to save the filament because it's expensive and it's really, really nice. And this was actually one of the first spools that I have ever bought from MakerBox when I, when after I got this, I thought it was amazing. I immediately bought it right away. It's just great. So the bottom layers on this, absolutely beautiful. The side layers, great. The bridging, I mean, there's no discernible difference you can see in here, but even if you feel, it feels smooth. The top layers just came out absolutely amazingly. Sidewalls, great as well. Protopasta makes some of the best filament I have ever tried. I just wish it was cheaper. But again, if you're looking for something like this that has this effect, 
you're not going to find it anywhere else except for protopasta they do great work there and it's just so clean i mean no stringing whatsoever this just came out so amazingly uh clearly if you have low infill on your bottom layer or I should say low layer count for your bottom layers you will see your infill through just a little bit but from the top you can't see any of it at all. Okay, next we have the yellow silk from Beaver 3D. This is the same that I got in one of the last boxes. I think they, I think I remember it was August of 2016. And I also just did a review, which has not been published yet, of the Beaver 3D red silk. So I have green, red, and now the yellow. This came out pretty good. It has the normal issues that the bottom layer normally has with on these sides, but the bottom layers themselves came out really nice. No zitting, no pimpling. Uh, you can see layer changes. Uh, there's a little bit of one right here, uh, a little bit up in here. So that's the issue with this type of filament. Uh, I had the same problem with the Toner Plastics Pearl, which is a similar sheen to this. These type of filaments really show your layer change. Your retraction has to be like super spot on in order to combat that. There's a couple little layer changes right here. Other than that, very smooth surface, very smooth sides. Bottom layer was good. Again, over supports, not so much. I might be able to tweak my settings a little bit more to maybe try and combat that, but it uh, did not fare terribly well on that part. But other than that, I really enjoy this filament. This stuff is really fun to print with, and like I said, it looks really clean from just like the top here. Even the sides look clean. It's just the bottom overhangs that need some work. Okay, now we have Buzzed from 3D Fuel. This stuff is cool. So this is made of a byproduct of beer making process. So I didn't read online exactly what all that means, but I have to say this stuff printed like a champ. The side, you know, coming up here, there's like two or three little deviations in quality, but other than that, it was great. Over top of where the support was came out amazing. There's actually still a little bit of support stuck in there, still I didn't pull that off. But I mean, you really can't go wrong with this. I mean, the sidewalls here, super smooth. Can't see any of the layer changes anywhere. Top layers, amazing. Has a nice little like sheen to it. And it also has like that little grit in it. It gives it a really unique look to it. And it, I think it's just great. Again, it printed absolutely fantastic just like this right off the printer i really like this stuff i would like it a lot more but it is a little expensive last i looked about 40 dollars for 500 grams so 80 bucks a kilo for this stuff but if you need something that has this kind of uh, you know finish to it or whatnot and it prints this well this would be worth it okay now i have the pla from makerbox this is their own homegrown pla now and i have two prints here this one obviously didn't finish so we're gonna start with this one first. Now this one came off of the Monoprice Select Mini and it was super stringy. Little zits here and there, not really many at all, nothing that can't be cleaned up, but it was a little bit stringy. And I tried lowering my temperature, I printed this at 210, I tried lowering my temperature and it would just skip. So I had to raise it back up to 210. Anything under that would just, uh, my extruder would start skipping steps. Sidewalls came out really nice on this. It has the standard issue of PLA down at the bottom, a little bit of under extrusion on some of the, you know, uh, over top of where the support was. First layer came out really nice. Again, sidewalls were nice. Top finished really smooth. You know, you can't really see all the layers, but it's, I mean, it came out really nice and smooth, but that stringiness. So I was like, well, maybe the mono price is being weird. Let me print it on the FT5. So here's my FT5 print. I obviously did not have enough. I only made it through about 60% of the print before I ran out of filament. No stringing whatsoever. These layers, much, much smoother than they were on the Monoprice Select Mini. And on the bottom, again, still had the standard issues with PLA. And, you know, this is like a normal run-of-the-mill PLA that you would see overhangs over top of the support. Came out okay, better than they did on the, on the Select Mini, but it was much, much cleaner looking. And this was printed, again, at 210 degrees centigrade, but this one was also printed a lot faster. The FT5 prints at 80 millimeters a second, my standard setting, and the FT5 prints a max of like 50, 55. But this is very different. I wouldn't mind trying more of this out, just because, again, one print does not tell you a lot about any of these filaments. It's just a quick glimpse at what they can do or how well they might be able to perform. But hey, it wasn't too bad. All right, guys, so that's my unboxing review of the April 2017 MakerBox. Now, I did talk to Nick, who runs or owns MakerBox, and he told me that, yes, this box, there was a survey sent out a few months ago asking people what was the best filament that they had. So he tallied them up in the top three, made it in here. So that was the Glitter Flake from Protoprosta, the Silk 
by Beaver 3D and the Buzzed by 3D Fuel. And then their little bonus extra was their MakerBox PLA, which is a homegrown filament that they are just now starting to produce. I don't know if it's available to buy yet, but I definitely will be looking into it to see if I can get some more of it to test out in a more robust test. I have to say, they did pick some really good filaments. I don't remember ever getting that email. I probably did and just didn't read it. I get a lot of emails. Sometimes I miss them. Sorry, Mom. But these all turned out really well. I was excited to get them. Again, this buzzed. I missed this. This is one of the very, very early boxes that I did not receive. I think I started about three months after they started, which is when I started 3D printing. And sadly, I missed this. But this stuff was awesome. I really liked it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions at all, please let me know down in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you out with any settings or issues that you might be having with printing any of these or any other filaments that you might be looking into. So if you guys like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. Let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to support me, best way to do that is go ahead and subscribe down below. All subscriptions really do help me out, and I appreciate every one of you for coming back to watch more. If you want to help me out financially, down below there's going to be a link for Patreon. Go ahead and hit that. Donate me a dollar more. I greatly appreciate it. Current Patreons, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Otherwise, you can support me without spending your money. Down below there's several affiliate links. Go ahead and check those out. Update your bookmarks. Do your daily shopping with those, and a little slice of that comes back to help me out here. And if you guys want to watch some more of my content, right over here is going to be a couple other videos for you guys to go ahead and check out. So thanks for watching, guys. It is as always, happy printing.